Are you frustrated with your bench press and your overhead press and you just can't get any stronger? Then check out this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Med Health. And today we're gonna to talk about how to increase our strength on a couple of uh, upper body power movements, the overhead press and the bench press. Both of those movements can become very frustrating in the gym. We all work them very hard. We're always trying to increase strength in those movements. And unfortunately, one or two things happen as we train those two movements, the overhead press and the bench press. You keep adding weight, you keep trying to increase the weight on the lifts, and either A, you end up plateauing and you just, you, you just can't seem to increase your weight at, um, at eventually, you get stuck at a certain level, or B, we get injured. So here's the thing about both of those lifts. They both require a tremendous amount of shoulder strength. However, the problem is you can't have shoulder strength unless you have shoulder stability. What do I mean by that? Okay, you can think of the shoulder as two separate groups of muscles. You have your large uh, muscle group such as your deltoids, which is the muscles that are the big muscles that are going to give you the, the power to press the weight, whether it's overhead or bench press. But then you have your smaller muscles such as your four rotator cuff muscles, which provide the shoulder with stability. So if I'm going to press a heavy weight, before those deltoids are going to kick in to press that weight overhead, it's up to my rotator cuff muscles and some of those other smaller muscles to fire first, to activate first, stabilize the shoulder, and then once the shoulder is stabilized, then the deltoids can do their job. And if they're not, and if those smaller muscles aren't stabilizing, you're, gonna, you're just not gonna be able to lift the amount of weight you wanna lift, and like I said, you're probably gonna end up with an, with an injury. So you're dealing with uh, weak stabilizing muscles. So picture that shoulder joint, and it's just jiggling around on the inside, and it's just, you go to lift weights, and there's just no stability in there. I don't care if you have watermelon-sized deltoids, you're not gonna be able to move a lot of weight. So today what I wanna do is I wanna go over some uh, great exercises to help increase the strength of those stabilizing muscles. And once we do that, our shoulder strength in general is gonna increase, which means you're gonna increase your strength on your overhead press and on your bench press. So let's get going. All right, so these exercises are a series of shoulder presses using a resistance band that's applying pressure from different angles on our shoulder. Now, as you can see here, I've initially set it up so that the band is pulling from the front and I'm using a very light dumbbell, a five pounder. And as I press up uh, from this uh, angle, is you wanna make sure you line up that you're pressing so your upper arm is in line with uh, your ear. So you're not allowing that band to pull your arm forward. So we're using our stabilizing muscles of the shoulder to um, keep that shoulder stable during these, during these presses. Um, we're not looking to use a lot of weight very light resistance, high repetitions on these movements. I'm actually um, looking to get three sets of 20 repetitions. As you can see here, this exercise can actually be done with no dumbbell at all. You can just use the resistance band. Here, the resistance now, we have it set up so that it's pulling, uh, trying to pull my arm off to the side. Once again, I've added back in the dumbbell. Uh, these exercises are great not just um, to stabilize, uh, working the stabilizing muscles of the shoulder itself, but also the muscles that stabilize the scapula. So here, one final angle, I'm pressing overhead, light dumbbell, three sets of 20 repetitions. The band is trying to pull me from the side, and we're not going to allow it to. In this series, we have the resistance now pulling from behind us. As you can see, there's no dumbbell being used here. So if you're, you, if you're new to these exercises, there's no need to use a dumbbell. Just practice them with no dumbbell at first and then slowly uh, add a light dumbbell. I have the resistance. Uh, the band is behind me on a doorknob. Um, once again, like I said, light tension on the band. I'm, I'm, I want to get at least 20 repetitions for three, three sets of 20. You can perform three sets of 20 uh, with the resistance in the same direction and then change your direction and then do another three sets of 20 or you can go around um, use the four different directions of the resistance band and go around three times 20 reps each time uh, this is one of my favorites the last motion we're doing here we have the resistance 
coming across the torso. So I'm pressing up and the band wants to pull my arm uh, across my torso. So this is one of my favorite positions uh, to use for this exercise. I find like the, that this, this particular movement um, angle actually really kicks in those stabilizing muscles. All right, so start training those exercises, work them into some of your weekly workouts. Sometimes I do those exercises on days that I'm taking off from the gym. It's not a heavy training day, but even though I'm not training heavy that day, I'll, I'll still do some exercises and I'll, I'll work in stability type of exercises such as the ones I just showed you. So definitely start working them. Uh, it takes time. Don't think you're gonna increase your shoulder stability overnight, but get working them. I think you're gonna find a big difference and that's gonna translate into more pounds as far, uh, on your overhead press and more pounds on your bench press. What could be better than that? All right, exercise programs, mobility plans, uh, combination avoidance system training booklet, uh, and our SRI shock release instrument, all available on my website, www.okramedhealth.com. I appreciate your support. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel, Okra Med Health on YouTube. Questions about exercise or injuries, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I always get back to everyone who writes in. And don't forget, Okra Med Health is here to keep you fit forever.